in the network of the figure the value of the voltage source e is so we are required to calculate the value of this voltage source e in the given network and before moving to our solution i will first name all the terminals and nodes present in this network let's say this point is point a this point here is point b this point here is point c this point here is point d this point here is point e and this one here is point f and in order to calculate the voltage e i will apply kvl starting from point a and ending at point d now what is the reason for which we are applying the kvl from a to d and not from c to f the reason is very simple when you focus on a and d you will find we know the potential values at a and at d but at c and f we don't know the values of the potential we have unknowns therefore in order to obtain the value of e with just one equation we will apply kvl from a to d so we are applying the kvl from a to b then from b to e and then from e to d at a the potential is equal to 0 volt therefore we will have 0 volt after this we have minus 1 volt therefore i will write minus 1 then we have minus e minus e after this we have minus 5 and then finally we will equate with the potential at d which is 10 volts so this is our equation when you simplify this you will get voltage e is equal to minus 16 volts so this is our answer and option a is the correct option and now let's see what will happen when we apply the kvl from c to f so we are applying the kvl from c to b then from b to e and finally from e to f at c the potential is equal to v2 so we have v2 then we have minus 2 minus 2 after this we have minus e moving forward we have minus 4 and then we will equate with the potential at point f which is v1 so this is our equation when we simplify this we will have v2 minus v1 minus e equal to 6 and let's call this equation equation number 1 and here you can see that we have three unknowns in one equation therefore we cannot find the value of e so it is important to find the values of v1 and v2 and we can find the value of v1 if we follow the path f e d because in this path there is only one unknown and it is v1 so let us apply kvl from f to e and then to d we will have v1 v1 plus 4 plus 4 then we have minus 5 equal to 10 when you solve it you will get v1 equal to 11 so v1 is equal to 11 volts and now we will focus on calculation of v2 and to calculate v2 we will follow the path cba so we are applying the kvl from c to b and then to a this will give us v2 minus 2 plus 1 equal to 0 minus 2 
plus 1 equal to 0. When you simplify this, you will have V2 equal to 1 volt. So in this way, we have calculated V1 and V2. We will put V1 equal to 11 volts and V2 equal to 1 volt in equation number 1. And this will give us 1 minus 11 minus E equal to 6. From here, we will get E equal to minus 16 volts. So we are getting the same answer, but here we have invested a lot of time, which is not good in the competitive examinations. So you have to analyze the question first, and then you have to follow the particular process, which will consume less time. And if you don't know how we are applying the KVL without forming the loop, then I will provide the link in the description and the link will be of the lecture where I've explained all these points in great detail. So this is all for this problem. Now let us move on to our homework problem. And the homework problem is taken from gate 1999 electrical engineering exam. Read the problem and try to solve it. And once you have your answer, post it in comment section.